it's Maria from the River Forest Public Library back again with another craft tutorial. This week we're going to be making these felt fruit hair clips. I've gone ahead and made a few just so that you can see them in action. I have a lemon here in my hair and then an orange here in front of me. I'm super excited to show you how to make these hair clips. They're super easy to make and you can wear them all summer long. This tutorial is super easy so let's go ahead and get started. For this project you will need felt, a hair clip, some tacky glue, a pencil, and a pair of scissors. For my next clip I'm going to go ahead and make a watermelon, my personal favorite summer fruit. The first step of this project is to pick out the base color of your clip. For the orange I've gone ahead and used a blue base and for the watermelon I think I'm going to go ahead and use this yellow base. Go ahead and take your hair clip and lay it face down on the felt. Trace out your hair clip, set it aside. Now that you have it traced out, you're going to go ahead and cut out the felt base layer for your hair clip. Now I've gone ahead and made the felt base a little bit larger than the hair clip so that it's a little bit more substantial in the hair. And to do that, I just followed the hair clip outline but added about a half inch on every side. All right, so I've gone ahead and cut it out accordingly, leaving about a half inch on every side of the hair clip. Now that the base is complete, just go ahead and glue on the hair clip to the base. For that, I'm gonna use this tacky glue and be pretty generous with the amount of glue that you use. If you don't have tacky glue, feel free to use a hot glue gun or super glue. And then stick it down now that you have the base attached to the hair clip, go ahead and set it aside. Time to create the watermelon. So to start off, I'm gonna go ahead and take the green. Since this is the biggest piece of our watermelon, I'm gonna cut that out first. Taking your pencil, go ahead and make a half circle. Now the exact size is completely up to you. You can go as big or as small as you would like. Based on the hair clip that I'm using, I'm gonna go ahead and make my half circle about two inches. So just go ahead and trace out your outline. And once you have it to the point where you like it, go ahead and cut it out. All right, so the base of the watermelon is now complete. The next component is the white bit. Using the green as a template, go ahead and cut out a half circle shape using the white felt. All right, so we've cut out the white felt. As you can see, it's currently the exact same size as the green felt. Go ahead and start trimming on the rounded part of the white felt until you get a sliver of the green poking through. So I'm just gonna cut along the rounded part of the semicircle. All right, now that I've trimmed along the rounded edge of the white felt, this is where we are. We have a little sliver of the green felt poking through, then the white. The next part is to add the pink to our watermelon. So we're gonna do the same process with the pink. Go ahead and set aside your green felt. We're done with that right now. Using the white felt piece as a template, go ahead and cut out the pink felt fabric in a semicircle. All right, so I have cut out the pink felt fabric, and as you can see, they're the exact same size. Just as before, we're gonna go ahead and take the pink fabric. We're just gonna trim along the curved edge until a little bit of the white is peeking through. Now that I've given a little trim, this is what we're left with. Now if we put them all together, you will see you have the base of a watermelon. All we have left to do is cut out the black seeds. Now since our watermelon is quite petite, I'm only gonna make three watermelon seeds. I'm gonna make my watermelon seeds in a teardrop shape. So go ahead and take your pencil and start tracing out three watermelon seeds. Once you have them traced out, go ahead and cut them out. All right, so I've gone ahead and cut out my three black watermelon seeds. And this is what they're looking like right now. Now that we have all the components of our watermelon complete, it's time to glue it down. So go ahead and take your tacky glue and start gluing it down layer by layer, starting with the green to the white. All right, now that we have our watermelon all glued together, it is time to attach it to the base clip. So just take the base clip, figure out how you want to position your watermelon. You can have it head on, askew, however you want. Then take your glue again and just secure it in place. But this is what the final product looks like. You have your clip, the felt clip 
base and then your fruit right on top of it. As with all my projects, there are a million ways to customize it. I would encourage you to think of your favorite fruit and then figure out a way to make it as simple and as minimal as possible. For example, this watermelon is simply three half circles and a couple of seeds. The orange clip is just a orange circle with a few leaves on top. I've added these white glare components just to make it a little bit more fun. To make the lemon, I just cut out a yellow oval with a little nub at the bottom, added two green leaves, and then these little white glare pieces for a little bit of dimension. I really had a blast making these felt fruit hair clips. I really hope you give this one a try, and if you do, let us know how it goes. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys later. Bye!